Dang it! It's a plus two as well! Arrgh. Now most of you have become sub-30, because all that really takes is learning some F2L tricks and learning beginner's OLL. The real thing that many people struggle with is becoming sub-20. I will say that before referring to this video, make sure that you are sub-25, you know advanced F2L, you know beginner's OLO, and you know a few of the PLs, if not all of them. The first and foremost step to becoming sub-20 is to practice, you know it, F2L look ahead. <laughs> if you've asked anyone how to become sub-20, they will have said, look ahead. Right. Whatever the heck that is. Look ahead is when you can subconsciously do the step you're on, but really be focused on the pieces for the next step. So now doing F2 a look ahead, I would start with a pair uh, like that. And while doing that, I would uh, look for the next pair. So that would be this one. Um, and then I can see this pair, um, if I can F2 well. And then I would see this pair. Okay, I said this pair and that pair a lot, so I, I hope you know which pairs I was talking about. Uh, you might be thinking, you all P. LP, like paradox. Let's see, uh, yo all P. How, how am I supposed to practice look ahead? Well, the best way is to slow down your turns per second, or TPS. Instead of doing this pair like this, well, I couldn't really see the next pair. Uh, instead, I would slow down my turns. So now I can easily see my next pair. So this one, and then that one. Again, I really hope you know which pairs I'm talking about because I did the this one, that one thing again. Right, next up, you want to work on some better finger tricks. Hoping that you know H-perm. I said H-perm. H-perm! Thank you. Jeez. Um, instead, of, instead of doing something like this. The, uh, hey. I'm just kidding. I'm not how-to basic. Instead of uh, becoming how-to basic, what you can do in, is use the U-pull flick and the U push flick for the U's, and then use the M2 move, which is by using your ring, then your middle, so like that. The U pull flick, by the way, is done by putting your finger here, and then just extending your finger. The push is done by putting your uh, finger here on this corner, and then pushing. So pull and push. I personally like to use the U pull flick for my H perm, so I go M2, U, M2, U2, uh, with the U primes, and then M2, U, M2. So, instead of, um, doing an index finger F prime for the last, uh, move, you can use a thumb F prime. So, like that. And for the F, there is no F, but if you have an F, then you can do that. You know what, I'll, um, I'll make a advanced finger tricks video so that I can go in more detail about these. Lastly, you should be able to recognize and execute PLLs faster. For example, once you learn G-perm, uh, if you have this G-A-perm, you should immediately be able to recognize it and execute it quickly. That was not very quick. Now, this is something I need to work on as well. Uh, so the way I work on this is by doing something called PLL time attacks. So a PLL time attack is when you execute all 21 PLLs as fast as you can and time that. So a good PLL time attack is when your time is about three times your average. Okay, practicing will help, but only if you're practicing the right thing, because practicing as Brody the Cuber said, uh, practicing will only reinforce what you already know. So if you're practicing a mistake, then you will reinforce that mistake. And that's not good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Goodbye. And oh, subscribe.